Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to use the forever block in Sketchware. Forever block is used to create a loop and whenever you use or create a loop you always have to stop it. So forever block has to be used always along with the stop block. But you cannot just make it stop forever. So you have to define a condition when the block should stop or when the loop should stop. And for that you have to use an if else block inside it and then write a condition when something happens it should stop or when something doesn't happen it should stop so you can place the stop button according to the condition you define so let's just try it with a simple example here i'll use list view in my example and i'll create a list of finite numbers for that I will need a variable, a number variable. I will create a simple loop of years. So let the number variable be year and let the starting of this number variable be 1906. After this I will increase or add it to a list. using forever block so I will use this forever block and inside this an if else block and I will define a condition when it should stop and if it doesn't stop I will increase it by 1 plus I will add the number to list so first I have to define when it should stop it should stop when the number variable year equals 2018 which is next year so it will not display 2018 and then rest of the things should be added to the list to add a number variable to list we have to convert it to string variable because it is a string list we have to convert it to string variable and we can convert it by using this block to string without decimal so now here it is ready after this we have to set the list view to our list and refresh it Now here we have a list of years from 1906 to 2017 and similarly you can use the repeat block also only difference is that in repeat block you should be knowing the difference so if you know the difference between 2018 and 1906 which is like 112 so after this you can just place this block here and remove the forever block. The only difference is that, is that you should be knowing the that how many times it has to repeat it. So here you need not set any condition when it should stop. It will stop automatically after repeating for 112 times so this will again create a similar list from 1906 to 2017 okay now you can use the forever block for other purposes also i will just show you one other app in which i have used this block here in this block i have used the forever block to add items from file shared preferences to list when the activity starts so I have saved items in file shared preferences in uh, by using numbers from 0 and 
1 by 1 from 0 to further numbers. So, here what it does is it, it checks whether the key with some number is empty or not. If it is not empty then it adds the value of that key to a list and then increase the number and checks the next next number if it is empty or not. When it finds the empty key, when it finds the number with empty key then this forever block stops. So after that it creates a list view and adds shows it in list view. Thank you very much for watching this video.